Hello, Kickstarter Nation! Writer-director Rob McCallum here with you once more and again, joined by the man himself, Jay Bartlett. Jay, thanks Peace. for uh, thanks for joining us again, once again, today again. Um, these updates are coming fast and furious, but we need the help as we're in the middle of the campaign. Jay, any thoughts, you know, now that we're approaching the midway mark on how the campaign's going, any feedback that you've heard from people, or what do you think, man? G- give me your thoughts. <laughs> I'm really pleased to see how how on board everybody is with the idea. Everyone wants us to get that 15,000 goal and definitely over it so we can go deeper into the states and around Canada and stuff like that. So uh, the support from everyone is just fantastic. Uh, All my friends and family, all yours as well. I mean, things are going really good so far. Yeah, it's uh, pretty encouraging. We're we're almost on track as far as our day-to-day goals. you can go on Kickstarter and, of course, check where we are every day and see the percentages we got. So we definitely still need your support, Kickstarter Nation. Um, there are a lot of people that are seeing these updates that, you know, if you just tossed in a few bucks, if everybody did that, it would make a huge difference. So please, $2, $5, $10, it really helps. Uh, Jay, the purpose of this interview, and you're coming into this rather blind and rushed. I literally called you about 10 minutes ago. Um, we've had a lot of requests to know a little bit more about who you are. They get the quest. They get some of the cool stuff that's going to happen, what we plan to do. But they want to know more about the guy, the main character, so to speak. Um, so I've got some some questions for you to, to maybe let our viewers know a little bit. Nothing too in-depth, of course, but uh, they should know you a little bit better by the end of this. So let's start off with something easy, Jay. Sure. Why don't you tell everybody out there what your shoe size is? <laughs> what? What what uh, size of shoe do you wear and or brand do you prefer, I suppose? Let, let's because, let people know. People are really asking this for real? Well, they want to get to know you. These questions are things that I've come up with, uh, more or less based on some of the suggestions. But, you know, what's your shoe size, Jay? My, my shoe size is 10. You wear size 10. Oh, great. Good to know. People probably know a little bit more about you already. Uh, what kind of car do you drive, Jay? What kind of car do I drive? I drive a Sunfire, fastest car on the planet. A, a Pontiac Sunfire, but Jay, yeah, but... are you driving it right now? Or are you driving the other cool machine that I saw you drive when I was visiting recently? Which one is that? The Regal Beagle. Oh, no, no, that was my rental. Well, my car was in the shop, so no, I don't have the the 89 beige uh, old person smelling regal. It's pretty cool, but I don't have that anymore. No, sorry. Okay, so you don't drive a Ferrari or a Lotus, meaning you're driving an average car that an average person would drive with your size ten shoes. I'm not a car guy. That's correct. Okay, so Jay, what's your favorite food? What's my favorite food? Pizza. Pizza's your favorite food, and I guess we should throw out there for anybody that's interested. You are a are you a vegan or a vegetarian? No, I'm a vegetarian. Okay. I'm not a vegan. Yeah. And pizza is your favorite food. Awesome. Now, Jay, here's one for all, all all the ladies out there that have been asking. Do you have a girlfriend? And if not, do you want one? Woo! Uh, no. And no. <laughs> you don't want one, and you don't have one. Sorry, ladies. Not interested. I'm good. I'm good right now. I've 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 had my share. I'm good. What does that mean? You've had your share. <laughs> I'm I'm. That's all I'll say. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> well, more on that. Check out the doc. Threw in five bucks to see a little bit more about Jay's love connection. Two and two. Oh, back with you. Um, Jay, do you live alone? Maybe describe your home for us. Uh, I live in, uh, I guess I live in a condo. I live by myself. I have a dog named Spencer, who's my best friend. Um, yeah, it's a, it's an average sized place. It's a three bedroom condo, three floors. I love it. And I live by I buy a nice nice open field where this farmer has like horses that run around all the time, so I get to check that out. It's awesome. And you've always been a dog person, though. You've had dogs your whole yeah. life, right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Yeah, dogs. Great. It's always nice to know people that, you know, love pets and stuff like that. So good uh, good throw that personal tidbit out there. So, Jay, let's maybe talk about some, some more of the harder hitting question. What is your greatest fear or one thing that you don't want to ever do? What's my greatest fear? Yeah, what's one thing that you're you're constantly fearful of or something that when somebody mentions you probably don't like the sounds of it? 
I, I know for me personally, I hate the idea of needles and syringes and getting shots and having blood work taken. It drives me absolutely nuts. I'll do anything out of my way to avoid doing something like that. Um, yeah, I'm very, I'm very claustrophobic. Um, I have weird reoccurring dreams of being buried alive and weird things like that. So being in really enclosed tight spaces really kind of freaks me out. And there's also one fear that I know of. That you haven't uh, mentioned. Yeah, I don't know. I don't I'm know pretty sure there's a certain method of transportation you're not a huge fan of. Yeah, I don't like RVs. I don't like a lot of people. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't like flying. I don't yeah. like flying. No. But not a lot of people do, to be honest. I hate flying. It's a, yeah. it's a, a thing and a necessity for me. So I get where you're coming yeah. from like that. So that, But I mean, that feeds into the claustrophobia. You know, tight, yeah. compact metallic tin can soaring through the air no control hey, Rob, you know what's weird we've talked about this before and i've never been in a helicopter but the thought of that doesn't frighten me nearly as much as a plane i think it's because i see what's going on and you kind of go upwards and stuff where the the plane you're in this tube and you can't really see anything around you i think that's like i hate roller coasters too right so i mean it's okay. all, all connected yeah i recently just went on my first helicopter ride at uh around february this year it's uh oh, nice. a, a hell of a lot scarier than a plane so yeah. uh take take that for what you want uh yeah, it's yeah. it's really weird it, it feels like you're on a bubble that just kind of rises it feels really yeah. strange almost like when you jump to the bottom of a pool and you just suddenly rise that's what a helicopter feels like. And I think for, for the planes, too, I mean, because you're so high. I mean, helicopters don't go nearly as high, right? But, like, planes are so high in the air. You're above the clouds. It's That's pretty frightening to me. But there you go. Okay, so greatest fear covered. Greatest dream or wish? What would you love to do? I know collecting all these games and stuff like that is, is it's something that you want to accomplish. You know, but what would be your greatest dream or wish? I would love to play games for a living. I'd love to be a, a pro gamer. Um, I don't think I'm near that level. That or I play music for a living. I'd like to do that. That'd be a lot of fun, I think. Do you have any desire to ever work for a gaming company? Do you have any ideas for your own kind of games? I have plenty of ideas. I'm not, I've never been interested in the programming aspect of it. But the storytelling, definitely. Um, I would love to be someone who brings stories to the table and, and ideas and different ways to approach games. I would love to do that, yeah. Okay, uh, got two more questions for you. This this one should be pretty easy. Give us a great video game memory that you have. Oh, man, I have I have so many. Just, just give us one. I'm sure when we start shooting the dock with everybody's help on Kickstarter that we'll get to a bunch of these throughout the road trip. But give us... One memory that instantly stands out. Do you um, want it? Does it have to be an NES one, or? I think NES would probably be a little bit more appropriate, but you know, whatever you'd like. Well, if it's off the top of my head, um, it, it's uh, it's a Grand Theft Auto game. Um, it's Vice City, and I'll, I'll, t I'll tell it really quickly. Um, you get into the car, and obviously there's different radio stations. A Vice City takes place in the 80s, so already it hits home with me. I can relate uh, to the decor, to the scenery, to the atmosphere. And I get in, I get into the one car. I stole the one car in the game. And um, was it a Buick it was, Regal? No, no, it was a crappy car though. It was a uh, Foreigner was on the radio, uh, waiting for a girl like you, and I love that tune. And I'm driving down the main strip in Vice City, and the sunset is going down. And there's just this moment where the the like there's almost lens flare, and I stopped and I pulled over to the side, and I just listened to the music in the car with the sunset going down. As cheesy as that sounds, that was one of the first times where I felt totally immersed, like I was in that city, and there was nothing else around me, like I was actually in that city. That's my favorite. Very cool. And I think yeah. there's a new Grand Theft Auto game coming out, so I'm sure you're looking forward to, to what that brings, no? Yeah, five's, Five looks wicked. Yeah. Great. Okay, last question for you, Jay, then we can wrap this up. Um, you mentioned driving right now. We, we talked about it a little bit earlier. Any memories from road trips that you and I have been on, maybe to give people uh, a taste or a hint of what might kind of transpire when we hit the road? Uh, pure insanity. Just... <laughs> Like some of the best well, geez, memories. we haven't set the bar too high. So some of the best memories that I've ever had. I mean, we took a uh, we took a bus trip to uh, Daytona, Florida, maybe about ten years ago. 
um, and it was straight there 24 hours um, and that was just even just on the bus it was fun remember I bought I had the Game Boy and I had Metroid yeah and uh, we were taking turns playing that back and forth and of course we were having some uh, adult beverages just yep. a great great time Lo- met a lot of great people lots of laughs lots of pranks uh, I love the pranks so I'm hoping <laughs> I'm hoping that RV comes through because the pranks uh, I'm uh, looking forward to that <laughs> All right. Well, I hope that gives everybody out there a little bit more insight into who you are. Did you have anything else that you wanted to share? Maybe on, on this, on a similar note or vein. What's your favorite color? You know, uh, do you like walks on the beach? Uh, uh, my favorite color is black. Um, I do not necessarily like the beach too much. I don't like. I like to be outside, but I don't like to get a, a, a tan or a burn or anything. As you can tell, I usually have long sleeves on. Do you like uh, swimming in open water with, like, fish and stuff? No, I don't like anything below me. I'm afraid of a lot of stuff, aren't I? <laughs> Some Jedi I would be. See, that's why I'm a Sith Lord. So. <laughs> and apparently uh, you're a fan of Star Wars, which we haven't really touched on either. More on all that, I think, as, as we start to shoot the doc, and maybe we'll follow up if anybody else has any other questions for us. Guys, again, keep tuned to our Facebook page for updates and uh, donate a couple bucks to Kickstarter. Uh, I've added, I think, three new perks in the last four or five days just to help kind of cater to what people want. So from myself, writer-director Rob McCallum, and from Jay as well. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you soon. Cheers.